Hello guys, welcome to Soft Coding. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add a horizontal progress bar under your uh, toolbar. Whenever and uh, in our app, when uh, we run some process or we run some operation in our app, so we want to display a progress bar to user that user know that uh, some progress or some operation is running in the app. So after the progress in or the operation in or uh, when we get a result from our uh, action or operation, uh, just uh, let's suppose we uh, are importing some data from database. So uh, when we click a button to import data from database, so we will show the progress bar in mean uh, while when the data is fetching from database. So whenever the data is fetched and ready to uh, insert the data in U uh, data in UI so we uh, disable our progress bar so in this video uh, we will implement a horizontal progress bar uh, under our toolbar so let's start a new project and we will select uh, empty activity and uh, we will name our project as uh, my progress bar and click on finish okay so our gradle is finished and first of all we will change this layout to a linear layout and we will delete this text view and we will enter a toolbar enter and the width will be match pair and height will be rep content we will give it a background color white and we will set a title for our toolbar let's suppose we will set a progress bar And change the title text color so to change the color enter color you can see the first one title text color and this will be black because our background is white so black will be good and after this we need to create a progress bar match parent height will be app content close this and uh, we will set style here horizontal as you know we are implementing a horizontal toll uh, progress bar and uh, enter nd determinate it will be true and set this color 10 to primary dark okay and here we have a error so we will set orientation as vertical but before running our app we need to change our theme theme will be in uh, rest folder under the various styles and we will the dark action bar to no action bar if we uh, if we haven't ch changed this to no action bar so then in our array we will have two toolbar so uh, don't forget to change this to no action bar let's make now let's run our app sorry uh, we need to specify here our toolbar so it will set our toolbar to specify toolbar name it my 
is equal to find mu by id okay we need to give an id to our toolbar so id my toolbar and here we will access that id okay set support action bar yes my toolbar and uh, get support action bar dot set display home is up enabled and set the value to true so as you can see we have uh, uh, an error here error says require type android x widget toolbar and provided android widget toolbar okay so don't worry click on import and delete this and click on this alt enter import class and you have to select the android x version not the simple android that widget okay so click on this and we are good to go okay now let's run our app to check it Okay, as you can see, our app is working and you can see this is our progress bar and this is our toolbar and this is the title we have set to our toolbar here in our XML file. Okay, so as you can see this is running good and if you want to uh, stop this uh, progress bar or uh, disable the visibility of uh, progress bar when the task is complete you can simply call uh, the you can uh, create a instance of uh, progress bar here and uh, just like the toolbar and you can create uh, you can enter something like this uh, my toolbar dot set visibility and here you can pass uh, gone or invisible so the uh, progress bar will not be shown to, uh, progress bar will not be shown to the user when the task is completed okay so that's it for this tutorial and if you like this video so please do subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends who need it